I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're talking about Guggenbaits. I wanted to do a full review video on these guys um, out at the pond catching fish. Um, I went out two different days and uh, spent a total of eight to ten hours out on the water. Um, not on the water, on shore, pond fishing, pond hopping. Uh, two different ponds. I worked my way all the way around them. Um, I would, you know, I have the, this isn't all of them. I'm missing one of them, but I got the Slim Shake Worm, the Crack and Craw, and the Bandito Bug, and we'll take a look at each of those. Um, but using all three of those, I caught one fish on a spinnerbait. Um, the one fish I caught was caught on this little spinnerbait here. Um, little chartreuse color there. Really, really small spinnerbait. Um, that was the only fish that I caught out of the whole 8 to 10 hours that I, that I spent trying to catch stuff on the Guggenbaits. Um, and I'm not here to say that, it, that the Guggenbaits suck. I don't think that at all. Um, it, they just weren't working for me on those days the other day and today I was out. Um, and you know, today I was out, uh, I saw fish swimming around and I was getting it right in front of them. They would check them out and then swim away. Um, I don't know. If it was maybe the colors I chose, wrong colors or just wrong presentation for these fish. Um, but uh, let's take a look at each of these baits and uh, we'll start with the bandito bug. So I want to start looking at, I kind of want to go over everything. I want to go over packaging, how the baits look, um, you know, the kind of action they have. Um, but we'll start with the packaging here. It's, it's really awesome. I love the packaging. It really stands out on uh, the shelves at the store. Um, I picked these up from a Dick's Sporting Goods up in Frisco. Um, and, you know, on the back they got the whole diagram there and uh, really catchy stuff. The Open, uh, open Sniff Catch. Uh, they got a website here. Uh, you know, just, just add water there. It's Packaging is really awesome. I, I think it looks great um, When you open it up, they smell great. They don't have different smells. I don't think they all smell the same to me But it's it's a really good scent um, And we'll uh, Go ahead and open this bandito bug here and get a look at how these things look um, This color is the uh, Okeechobee craw and on uh, one side here, I hope the light is fine. Uh, it's kind of like that dark greenish color, like a watermelon green color. And then on the other side, it's that nice blue, nice, um, it's got like blue flakes up in there. Yeah. And it's really, really cool looking. They feel great. They look awesome. Uh, each of these appendages here have little tabs on there you could break. Break apart, you break apart each of these little pinchers here, um, and each of these will flap independently of each other um, when you're pulling it through the water. Um, and that's the thing on each of these baits, they look great uh, in the package when you're handling them, look great in the water, they look amazing. Um, they were definitely catching the attention of the fish today, uh, but for whatever reason, those fish just did not want anything to do with me or the baits. So, let's see, we'll get into a crack and craw next. Uh, the color I went with on the crack and craw is just, just plain natural. Just plain natural color. And you can tell I have a couple missing. I 
kept trying to switch them out. I was thinking, you know, are these baits just um, getting wore out, losing scent? Which I don't think they were, but I was just uh, switching them out just in case. Um, here you go, the uh, pinches there. Gotta break those apart again. Um, but you can see the color on one side. They, they've each got little flakes in there. One side's that kind of grayish color. The other side's a little dark blue and it's got a uh, nice little uh, blue and black flakes in there. Um, and the cool thing with the crack and craw, which honestly you could do with any bait, you could cut any bait down to size to fit your hook. But if you look at the crack and craw here, it's got these uh, different little segments there. Um, and it's perfect for if you pop that off, if you need it on a shorter hook or just make uh, your overall presentation a little smaller, a little shorter, you could pop those segments off and, and make it a little, make it a little smaller um, just to get those fish to bite and go after it. Uh, so that's the uh, crack and craw there. Get these put back in here. All right, so up next we have is the uh, Slim Shake Worm. Um, the way I really like to fish worms is a uh, wacky rig. I love doing wacky rig. Um, and I tried to do that with this guy and um, just didn't have any luck with it. Uh, let's see, color on this guy is watermelon red. Slim Shake Worm, watermelon red. Um, looks real awesome. You can see the little ridges on there and all that. And it's got nice red, black flakes. Um, Really, really cool looking worm. Kind of gets slender and has a little tip there. Um, really great baits. I mean, they look great, um, both in and out of the package. Uh, feel awesome. And uh, I believe I already said all this, but they look great in the water. Um, I just, I don't know, just didn't have any luck with them. Um, maybe y'all could tell me if these were good colors to go with for this time of year uh we're in fall it's getting we're past mid-november it's uh the 21st today um so you know i don't know i, I thought those were really good colors to go with um <clears throat> and fishing these ponds i was fishing from the shore uh yeah fish, so with these baits i uh tried everything under the rainbow uh presentation wise uh fished them you know shallow i went deep i fished them slow moderate speed fast uh weighted um, no weights at all i used them by themselves i used them as trailers um i swam them i even used the crack and craw um as top water i just kept the rod tip up and reeled it you know as fast as i needed to but it'll kind of paddle across the water um so, you know, I swam them, did top water, uh, played the bottom. Um, and I mean, I spent quite a bit of time out there, uh, doing all of that. So, um, I really don't know what happened. Uh, I'm probably going to be going to film another video out there tomorrow morning. And, um, I'm probably not going to be using the Guggen baits. I'm going to be using some other stuff. Um, don't know if I'll even go with soft plastics. I'll probably do spinners, uh, but I'll just see if the fish are active at all. If I could catch them on anything else other than these, then we'll definitely know that um, that it uh, just they didn't want soft plastics. We'll we'll definitely figure that out in the morning. Um, so y'all could um, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that video to come out that'll be uh next week or in a couple of days um but uh you know what i i want y'all to let me know what do y'all think was i doing something weird should i have tried something else should do i need to go get other colors um uh you know just let me know uh one other thing is i'll talk about price each of these packs was uh 6.99 uh, so just under seven bucks, um, well over seven bucks after tax. Um, but yeah, six ninety nine a pack. So I don't know if I'll really be stocking up on these baits. 
Um, I like to stay in with uh, the cheaper brands, save a couple of bucks, and uh, I do have other baits that uh, I, I really like. Um, and honestly, if you ask my opinion, you know, each of these brands, everyone's going to have their own favorite, but to me, they're all pretty much the same. You can get little crawfish presentations from any brand name, uh, so you could save a couple of bucks, uh, go a little cheaper, and pretty much get the same presentation. Everyone's going to have, you know, their own scent, um, details on the bait. Uh, everything's going to be just a little bit different from each other. Um, so that's just a big part of shopping around and figuring out what you like to use. Um, but there's tons and tons of uh, other baits that are actually cheaper than these guys. Um, I don't want to you know, run you off from going and buying their baits and uh, trying these out. Um, I will probably, I mean, I'll probably pick up some other colors. Uh, later on, but uh, won't be anytime soon. Um, I'll probably use these up before I ever go buy some more. Um, but I definitely have other brands that I that I uh, prefer using. Um, I think that is pretty much all I've got. Uh, all I wanted to talk about on these guys. Um, we went over look how I used them, uh, price. You know, I just. Um, I just don't think I was having any luck with them, but uh, y'all should definitely go pick them up. Definitely give them a try. Uh, I see a lot of people, a lot of other videos um, of people using these baits and uh, buying these baits, trying them out, and having a ton of luck on them. Um, I mean, they'll definitely catch fish. I know they will. Uh, and come spring, when the weather warms back up, I may dedicate a whole nother video uh, two Guggen baits. Uh, if y'all want to see it, let me know um, and uh, see what we could get on them when the weather warms back up. All right, we had a little bit of a hiccup with uh, my phone running out of storage there, but uh, kind of cut me off. Uh, but basically, I was saying um, getting into later fall and going through winter, uh, the fishing videos on my channel are probably going to kind of get spread out and slow down quite a bit. Um, I'll definitely try and get out there and uh, practice my cold weather, cold water fishing. Uh, just because I'm, I'm not very good at it and that might be another thing. Um, why, you know, another reason why I didn't have luck on the Guggen baits um, the past couple of days that I went out and tried it. It's just because I... Growing up, I never did cold water fishing. Uh, with everything cooling down, um, I've got to get the hang of it. Uh, I've definitely got to get some practice in, so I'll definitely do that. Um, but it's also going to slow down because uh, me and Crystal are expecting our first child. Um, and uh, if he doesn't come over the this next weekend... Um, then we're going to have to set up an appointment to uh, have Crystal induced, the pre you know, the uh, birth induced. Um, so it's definitely getting very, very close. Our due date was back on the 19th, which is was a couple of days ago. At this point, today's the 21st. I believe I said that earlier. Um, so it's definitely about to slow down with him being around. Uh, my videos are going to go, pro you know, from being all fishing to throughout the winter at least, it's going to be on him, uh, our lives, kind of getting used to having a child, having a baby, um, and just things around the house, which I believe is what it kind of was last winter. Um, but uh, fishing won't start picking back up until... We get into March and April when the sand bass run starts starts up, which um, I am excited for. I'm definitely going to get out there and uh, get a couple of videos done um, on sand bass. I may do a couple of uh, catch and cooks, catch clean cooks type videos. Um, so let me know if y'all want to see those. Um, and then from there it'll pick back up and then we'll definitely get back into uh, bass fishing. 
But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all my, you know, big thoughts and um, opinions on Guggen Baits. I think they look great. Um, I'll definitely be excited to try them next spring when everything's uh, picking back up. And I'll definitely try them throughout the winter. May not make videos on it, but I'm definitely going to be out there practicing um, and just getting a feel for uh, fishing for bass in the winter. Um, I think I just have to learn how to figure out where they are and, and how to fish for them. So, um, guys, uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, should I have tried something different? I believe I said all this earlier, but should I have tried something different? Uh, do I need to get different colors? What presentation do y'all like? How do y'all fish for a bass uh, throughout the winter? Let me know. Um, definitely give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, you know, if you don't, let me know. Just let me know. Let me know your opinions. I'm open to them and I want to hear them. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, keep up with uh, me, Crystal, and uh, Little Man, our growing family. Um, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps out. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Um, and if you kind of like these videos, kind of going over baits and stuff, let me know. Um, I'm definitely not a pro fisher. I'm definitely always learning. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't have a great, great expanse of knowledge on all this. But uh, I'm definitely willing to learn uh, and make videos on them. Uh, so y'all could probably learn with me or I could learn with you, uh, but, uh, let me know. And so I guess that's, um, all I got guys. Um, so, uh, y'all take it easy and I'll see you next time.